Green flag is back in there. This one looks a lot tighter. Let's get it on here in Ocala, Florida. This time the outside line prevails as Buddy Kofoid in the 67 jumps out in front. Dason personally slots back into second and Thomas Mesrol gets busy right off the green flag once again. Remember, Mesrol coming off two wins, his first two national midget wins last season. He is hungry for more. Mesrol putting the slide jump on Dason Pursley. Mesrol says hi, then says bye, as he goes from his fourth place starting spot up to second. What's Team S have up his sleeve this time, by? And they're laying tracks through one and two. Oh, Dason personally was a student of the game. Sat back, sat back, watched Team S throw bombs into one, and he finally said, oh, no. Well, he didn't say, oh, no. Team S says, oh, no, as he gets together with J-Mac. Jason McDougal and Team S get together in three and four. Good little battle right here. That's Kaylee Bryson in the number 71, trying to hold off Max McLaughlin. One car around, and that is McLaughlin. Oh, Max McLaughlin. Well, tonight's events at Bubba Raceway Park have officially been postponed until tomorrow. We will come back tomorrow, finish this feature, and then run all of tomorrow's program once again. Part two of night number one of the USAC NOS Energy Drink National Midgets. Kofoid's going to get it going with 17 laps to go. Let's get it on here at Bubba Raceway Park. You know, Council Green flag is out. Look at that speed shot. It sure is beautiful. We're racing out of turns one and two down the back straightaway. Buddy Kofoid getting a good jump on the field here. Tanner Thorson quickly getting around Dason Pursley for second spot at Bubba Raceway Park. Chris Windham and Tanner Thorson trying to split Dason Pursley. Thorson on the high side as they head into three and four. Man, Dason Pursley looked to his inside, saw Big Daddy, looked to his outside, saw Tanner Thorson. Didn't know what to do. Up high, Thorson trying to build his momentum on the top side. Kofoid goes up to block that momentum. Chris Windham's got his hands full with pole sitter Dason Pursley. Coming down to see 10 laps to go this time by Thorson. Trying to really make that high side work. He might live by it, but he might die by it because Chris Windham says down low pays the bills, son. And he's going to work on Tanner Thorson. They're side by side getting into three and four. Things tighten up real quick down there. Tanner Thorson sees Nas Energy Drink blue and orange move Chris Windham up to second place. The race for second, not over, not yet. Tanner Thorson takes a page out of Wyndham's book, goes way back down low. Wyndham trying to go four-wheeling here in the infield, but as soon as he gets it gathered back up, Dason Pursley gives him a shot in the rear bumper, lets him know he is there. Rolling through the middle, Tanner Thorson has cleared Chris Wyndham. So Thorson back up to second place here. We're near the end of this one. Thorson down on the inside, but he can't keep the momentum up. Buddy Kofoid goes back around the high side. One to go, white flag in the air. Buddy Kofoid, he has survived restart after restart, rain delay after rain delay. Tanner Thornton's gonna have one more shot here. They come down the back straightaway. What does Thorson have planned? Does he stay conservative and come home with the points or does he go for the win? That's a little bit of both. Buddy Kofoid holds him off, goes wire to wire.